So, welcome back to Halo 1, level 4, Silent Cartographer. I thought I was going to stop there, and I changed my mind because I really wanted to play Silent Cartographer. Uh, it's not until the next level where I definitely am going to cut it off because it gets ridiculously long as a level. They're still fairly long. Like, that last level took me apparently 38 minutes on a recording. Um, one thing, though, I watched it back very quickly, like for a minute, just to see how the audio and everything sounded. I didn't talk about the music at all, and the music is the most epic part of this game besides the gunplay and everything like that and just all of it. The music, which is done by Martin O'Donnell at this point, was fantastic. Like He's the composer for it. Later on, they add, uh, I think his name is pronounced Michael Sapatori, uh, part of the team. But the music is just so great on this game, honestly. I, I didn't pay attention to that. I also didn't say... Uh, or something else I didn't say at all with uh, part of it was uh, I think I was something about the ranking or something like that. I, I can't remember. It was only a minute ago, but it was enough that uh, if I don't get it out or write it down, I'm gonna forget. I'm one of those people. So the only thing, even the music, like I said, I I am a big fan of the music to enough where I have a, my Spotify account. Not sponsored. I, I just have a Spotify account. Uh, like anyone else probably, and. Uh, I have like Halo music on there. I have a lot of range of music though. I have something from like heavy rock or standard or like one metal song. I even have one country song in there. I'm not a country, three country songs. I am not a country guy. Two like opera and other stuff. So, and like classic things like, uh, like Bobby Darren and stuff like that. So I, I'm a big music guy as well. Um, but what we did, we cleared off the beach. Now we have a beachhead. We have a point where we can get our supplies dropped off and everything like that. We're going to take this warthog. Okay. And what we are doing on the silent cartographer is we are looking for, as she says, Halo's control room. We're looking for a map room to send us there or tell us where it is, not send us, rather. Um, I am going to play this a little weird because, of course, I know where the correct path is. Where we're going is you can head either way on this island because it's a full island that you can roam clockwise or counterclockwise I from the beachhead I go straight so I go what is going to be counterclockwise on the island uh, if you, what you normally do is you head up there that's actually where the map room is uh, but when we go in there uh, they close the door and they lock, they lock us out so we can't get in so we got to go find a way to unlock that door so we're going to head over this way anyway because you can do it ahead of time so that we can't get locked out and we're just going to go essentially clear it out really quickly and uh, unlock the door ahead of time so we don't have to deal with all that. Uh, you see they already dropped off and we tried to take this beachhead apparently and uh, we did not do so well. So um, we're just going to go clear it out like I said. Uh, this is actually pretty cool because there's a lot of fauna and stuff as you go here and you can almost get blown up like that. Uh, and as we go up it's, it's a spot... As I stutter on that, by the way, it's, 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 it's a, a spot where, um, honestly, it was, it, whoop. yeah, there it is. Uh, <laughs> I thought there was an aid being tossed. I, it's kind of tucked away, but there's a lot back here. You, you wouldn't expect it. I'm really now trying to focus on, as I miss the elite, hold up, uh, what I forgot about. Because there was something big that I wanted to talk about, apparently. I like as I was watching it back, I was like, oh, I didn't say that, or I didn't do that uh, about this. I, I don't know what it was though. I think I think it more dealt with Halo itself and what what we're doing here now. Like it, it's still more the what we're trying to do is prevent the Covenant from having control of the control room and everything like that. But uh, what everyone else is doing, what's kind of going on, you honestly don't know much. Uh, as you're going, you're just doing that main objective you don't know and if there's any side objectives stuff like that it's not really important to the story you're a chief and your story is we're gonna go get this <laughs> control room hopefully he doesn't toss a nade at me or rush me jeez i just kind of waiting for my shield to go back up there we go hello uh and again they love the second they introduced the hunters on the last level they threw i think eight or ten at us they threw another pair right down there. All right, so, but these are easier because as well, we have the Magnum. So here's that little thing. I can even see it charging. Dodge, he hits me directly. Dodge, boom, shot in the back. This is another thing that uh, I did have earlier on the first level. This is the first time we get it back, uh, is overshield. 
here's another terminal right here. It wasn't here in Halo 1, of course. This is how the island looked back then. I'll try and switch between the graphics on occasion just so people can see it. Um, yep, and here they come. So, they're just defending the control, or the control to the map room. So, like, again, getting us locked out here. There we go. So one thing as well, I, I guess I'll, because there's not much to talk about on the ring or I guess lore, because I'm not super familiar on the jackals. Their lore, I, I forget it off by now, off the top of my head. I always found the grunt one more interesting and the elite one more interesting. Uh, talk about Chief. What, how'd he become a Spartan? Uh, all right, that's what I was, as I'm remembering that, and uh, what I was trying to remember was about Captain Keys and why he's important. Uh, we'll start at Captain Keys. I know he's, not the main character but why captain keys is important and it's brief with chief is when i said it on like the first episode when chief was getting essentially uh checked by dr halsey like dr halsey was uh seeing the applicant which was john uh master chief's name by the way is john um and it's only addressed john by two people dr halsey which of course she is a non-existent character as of halo one she's in the book that is it you will not see her in this game uh and cortana they are the only two people who address uh, Chief as John, and I will tell you why later for Cortana. Uh, but towards uh, Captain Keys, before he was captain or anything like that, he was still an officer, uh, but he was a low-ranking officer. I forgot what, I think his name, he was an ensign or ensign, I, I forget the actual name. I don't remember his rank, and I also don't remember the pronunciation on that rank. Uh, I think he was actually a sent, uh, like a second lieutenant or something. He was a starter officer. He was like an 01, uh, which is a starter. That's your first officer rank. Um, he accompanied Dr. Halsey during the actual pickout, like when they were going to look at Chief and see him as a kid. She was John lived on the outer colonies. So he was farther out there. He was where there was an issue. So story what this is where things start to tack on tack of each other. And luckily this is a long enough level. Here's more hunters again. Uh, yeet and boop. Okay. Woo! Um, this is where, so there was the UNSC, even though I say there's United States rankings, the UNSC stands for the United Nations Space Command where all the United Nations of the world and Earth went out and they all explored space together as one banner. Analyze. So the UNSC does still follow US rankings. This is, this is the door that locked us out. And the here's the facility. gold elite Located again with the energy sword island. guarding the door. Uh, we won't Shut see him for quite a while. So, uh, so now we're not locked out. The, the dialogue changes as well. She's like, oh, look, uh, this is something that keeps us locked out quickly if you come over here and you normally have to get the rocket to do this or if you could do a pretty good grenade jump you gotta get up there and the skull is back there that is the one that infinite ammo 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 it's called the bandana skull so it's the only skull in all the halos to give you infinite ammo it's only in halo one too um but i'm not gonna waste my time to get to it it's too much of a pain and honestly if you don't have a checkpoint it's also a pain to get to constantly uh, but, but more towards what it was. So the UNSC, like I said, was the form of a single banner to go out into space and everything like that uh, and explore space. There's still military rankings because it was partially a military operation and then civil civilian. There we go. Jesus can't speak. Um, and eventually, you know, it, it colonies began. It started colonizing other planets. There are the inner colonies and the outer colonies. The issue with outer colonies is eventually there was rebellion i'm just doing this so i don't have to go around the way i did and fight other guys this does save some time because what that that pelican was saying oh we're crash landing uh down here is where the crash landing pelican happened so if you just slide down that cliff carefully you will get down here and also you have the energy shield for the overshield anyway um but there was rebellion uh Rebels were, I'm taking the rocket for the sake of the rocket. This is the first time you get the rocket launcher. Here you go. And this is where they crash land. Um, but because of the rebellion, that's originally actually why Spartans were made, was to kind of 
stop the rebellion. But we don't talk about that till later. Uh, that doesn't become an issue until uh, we're spoken about until Halo 4 uh, for the briefest of moments. And it is spoke it was spoken about in the book because of course that's where the characters came from. Uh, but during that like whole thing was when they the whole point of this the rebellion was very aggressive towards the UNSC. It was essentially what the grunts did. They were fighting. They were fighting back with a weaponry. It was not a calm civil war. It was full on aggressive civil conflict. And but the whole point of that long story is to tell you when they went to go find John, he was on an outer colony. And Dr. Halsey was the UNSC because she's part of ONI, which is its own secret, very dark organization, which eh, going in depth about them, I honestly have to go like, recall a few things. My guys are still here. Three Warthogs, co-op, only two people. So you have an extra Warthog. Um, we're going to go ahead to the map room, by the way. But on the outer colonies, the UNSC then said, hey, you need to bring someone with you. The person who was assigned with her, or she picked him, rather, uh, was Captain Keys. Or he's not Captain Keys at that time. His name is, they just go by Keys. Uh, but, oh, and also I'm going around this way just for the sake of time. And also, not for the sake of time, just because it's easier to clear out the enemies when you go this way. Um... But so he accompanied her on finding John, and now he sees him as like this giant unit. And mind you, he's also made it up to Captain uh, Captain Keys. The reason why uh, what was it? Halsey picked him was because he could keep a secret, which you're not supposed to be doing in the military, but he could keep a secret. So that's why she entrusted him as the only uh, companion for this. By the way. Ignore me missing two rockets because of that. So you normally Rocket doesn't actually always kill these guys as well in one hit. And I'm almost out of health. The only reason I brought this was just to clear out this spot first, like quickly, because when the elites are here. Hello? There you are. Explosives are really good in this one. Oh never mind, it didn't kill him. I lied. Explosives are awful. Don't use them. Just use bullets. Bullets are much better. Hi. Knocks off part of your shield. Doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. Oh, you're still alive. Okay. Yeah, see, like I said, explosives are worth Just use bullets. Um, but as well, he could keep a secret. Specifically, he kept a secret from just other ranking officials. Uh, and we're, we're actually going to do a little thing over here. It's a little cinematic quickly. So it's called Shafted, by the way. Uh, <laughs> come over here. A little cinematic happens reason being is we're on the ring we don't know exactly what the ring is as of right now we know it's a weapon and we know it's called halo but we don't know anything else about it and if we do this we find a little grunt mass there is where we kick off the ledge it is hollow so the ring is fully hollow down and it has of course its infrastructure and stuff like that um but as well captain Casey later uh it, he uh, is a lieutenant. He does a really good job in a battle where he hand calculated a fight that literally inches more would have blown up the ship and killed everyone. And he defended a uh, whole fight. He like defended off a Covenant cruiser, which as well, human ships are so outgunned by Covenant cruisers because uh, their Covenant cruisers have plasma and they burn straight through. So I thought there was a little front riding. Um, so fighting off a Covenant cruiser, and I think he fought off two at the time. I can't remember right off the top of my head. Uh, he was able to do that. Also hand calculating without an AI and his ship, the ship should have an AI. An AI like Cortana who can do the calculations and everything much quicker. But he was able to hand do him on a notepad. And he, he fended him off. He got his crew. Uh, the reason why he did that was also during, a, uh, he was just defending in that case. Uh, and the Admiral at the time recognized it and got him the rank of Captain. Because uh, later, right after that, and I know this is a lot more about Captain Keys now, it's, he, the only point in why he was so important with uh, Chief is that he worked alongside Chief. And he, I mean, he found him when he was a kid, and then later on, he, uh, I'm gonna switch off the rocket, by the way, back to the pistol, because it's much better, because we're going in close quarters. Also, there are more hunters here, again. 
again, once they introduce the hunters, they don't mind throwing them at you at any time. Um, but they were harder at first sight in Halo 1. You know, once you figure out that you can just pop them in the back once with one of the precision guns, you're good. Um, but there's a battle right after this. He gets the rank of captain. Uh, oh, hello to both of you. There you are. Um, this is big battle. They're fighting because Covenant's coming to... Uh, I can't remember what it, where they were exactly. They were on a planet. They were looking at artifacts on this planet and the Covenant were very interested in them. And so Chief and everything goes on the ground. He has his battle. That's a long story. Uh, and he goes to rescue civilians and everything like that. And they find, they uh, discover hunters and because they didn't know what hunters were. And then all of a sudden, Chief and Blue Team, which is his team, goes and finds like this creature that crushed a jackal's body. And he's like, oh, what is that? And then they take photos. They do fight a hunter as well. Uh, but up in space, there's a giant space battle going on. Like they had, because they were so outgunned, the plasma burned straight through. Here's an active camo, by the way. Uh, and we're headed towards the map room. But they were so outgunned because the plasma just burned straight through the ships. Uh, what they did instead was there was a repair station. There's a massive station that could in like very quickly repair uh, big cruisers and everything like that of the UNSCs. And what instead they did was they lined up, and this was the admiral's decision. Uh, here's a silent cartographer, by the way. It shows you uh, the rings layout and everything like that. That structure appears to be some sort of temple or shrine, if I interpreted this correctly. There we go. Uh, so that was it. Um, normally I head back the other way, but I'm going to kill off these grunts and everything like that. And grab this energy shield. Because if your active camera wears out right there if you don't skip the cinematic. Um, ooh, come here. There we go. Uh, so what they do during that battle is they're trying to, you know, figure out... It was in the book. I read it, and it's been a while since I read the first book. Um, they're fighting. They're defending as well. They're trying to make sure that they can hold their ground against this all of a sudden uh, Covenant fleet that shows up. Uh, and they line up the, what the Admiral decides to do. He lines up the ships, and Captain Keys comes and plays here. I'm not just discussing a battle for the sake of the battle. Uh, they line up the ships, and they use the giant station. It was essentially, think of a flat thin wreck square that where they docked and what they did was and what the people on board sacrificed in the story wise they had the sh ships all lined up the square plate essentially was hovering over and as they fired the plasma cannons because it takes time to charge they used it as a shield the whole station got burned up their repair station mind you very important piece with them uh, got burned up uh, from the plasma, all the people on board who were serving uh, in you know, the battle okay, died because they got jettisoned into space. You know, in space. Um, so it, they died, but then in the battle they fought. And Captain Keys actually realized during this battle, while Chief's on the ground, Chief notices like they're sending a signal up. And Captain Keys, up in space, notices, hey, there's a ship over there trying to receive a signal. So Keys, during that battle, goes and fights and everything like that. I think by this point, I don't remember. Actually, really, I thought it, he was already captain by this point, but I could be mistaken. He might have not had the rank of captain yet. But there, after this battle, he definitely has the rank of captain. He is Captain Keys. And uh, right after that, that is where I discussed in an earlier episode, they soup up a ship for him called the Pillar of Autumn. And uh, that's where Halo 1 takes place. They do the whole things I discussed earlier. Music is epic, by the way, right now. Uh, a lot of uh, like space opera kind of guitar playing rock and roll right now. Space opera is more of the intro. I'm gonna die. Yep, I'll be right back then. Um, at the end of that battle, Captain Keys is now Captain Keys. He has the rank of captain. Uh, and he has the pillar of, or he's getting the pillar of autumn. All of Reach starts. So that's a little background story on Captain Keys and why he's important to the story and why he was uh, important as well to. Chief, he does appear a few other times, like when Chief becomes, uh, there's a bunch of stuff with Chief, but Chief becomes a squad leader, and also when they uh, essentially graduate uh, and become officers of the, or they become fully enlisted in the UNSC, because they start off enlisted, but I'm gonna die again, Jesus.
Oh, it's right around the corner. Never mind. I don't need to be buggy about it. Um, but, uh, so there's a few other times he runs into Keys, but of course, Chief doesn't know that uh, Keys was there when he was a kid. He doesn't remember Keys. So, uh, oh, I'm taking this actually, because, yep. there we go. One big thing effective about the rocket. I'm going to keep the rocket as well for a second. Um, but it, it, he runs into him a few other times and talks to him for a few seconds. Uh, and like as they graduate from like their essentially boot camp and everything and they just went through their augmentations and everything like that. He actually shows up and talks to Chief for all of like a minute and says, uh, you won't remember me, da 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 da, but we spoke a long time. Like they, he... They reference that uh, background story of Keys with Chief when Chief was like five. Or I don't remember how old he is, but he was gay. And also, the reason why I brought the rocket is him. I don't think it actually kills him all the time. Nope, he just gets very flinched by it. There you go. And yep, all right, so we're on our way out. We know now we have the layout of the ring. We know everything about the ring's map, da 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 da, because we have the silent cartographer. We're on our way out. What sadly happened during that whole speech there and like that whole spiel was uh, all our Marines that were actually out here uh, started getting flooded by the Covenant like they were aggressively attacking and they essentially were just holding them off so that they wouldn't flood in and uh, corner us and we would die. And mind you, they did get all the way down there is why we had to fight our way out again. Uh, but they did hold them off, as he says, we'll hold them off for as long as we can. And now we're out here. Sadly, all our Marines are dead. Even the ones that like maybe were in your warthog that were alive out here, or even if you park them somewhere hidden, like in this cave over there, they will still be dead, sadly. But this, and I didn't think I would do this next level, or at least this one, that was fourth mission, Go silent ahead. cartographer for Halo 1. Now you know a bit more about Captain Keys and his orientation towards Chief and like other stuff. I won't go into more of Chief until probably later when I have the longest level. It is the the seventh level is called the library that is when i will talk about a lot because a lot of stuff gets introduced then too uh but i do hope you enjoyed this one uh this is one of my favorite levels i hmm, don't know which one is uh, probably the next level is my favorite uh it's a lot of people's favorite the last level and the silent cartographer is a really good level that what halo 4 is, or halo 4 the l fourth level of halo 1 is the silent cartographer and it, it was a lot of fun because the first time you play it and the music is great the whole way through on every level you drop through and you're just all of a sudden on, on a beachhead fighting right away and there's some badass music going oh it's is it in the old graphics or is this in the new one it looks old why does it look old oh it doesn't okay never mind i'm just going insane it is a new graphics And because the ring is hollow, we took a plane through. And now we're just landing at like essentially what is it's a random little dock station for other planes for drop offs essentially to go into the ring. But I'm gonna have to pause it here because they're also gonna start rushing out there to fight me. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed again the series. I'm gonna say this every time at the end. I hope you did enjoy uh, the fourth level. Silent Cartographer, and now we will go on to the fifth level. This is why I'm taking a break. I am tired. I'm going to bed. It is 1.30 in the morning. Uh, and we'll go on to the fifth level, which is called Assault on the Control Room. As it sounds, we're assaulting and trying to get on to, get to the control room, so we're in control of the ring. Uh, and we'll go through there. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time.